Jesus. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. We're taking praise God for being back in the house of God. It's always a privilege to be in the house of God. We bring you greetings from Faith Temple Lighthouse Church, 7000 Bennett Street, Homewood, Pennsylvania. We greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We just say God bless you, peace be upon you, and God be with your family. And that's to you, you, and you, and everyone under the sound of my voice. Amen. Amen. God has been good. I'm not going to worry you too long, but I do got a little word from the Lord. Amen. Amen. God, because that's what we come here for, to give God the praise and the glory. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, we thank God. Many people didn't wake up this morning, but he chose up one more time to wake Amen. up, to come to the house and give him the praise. I just thank God so much. I can't praise him enough. You know, the Bible says if we had 10,000 tongues, we still could not praise God enough. And we only got one, so we're not, we're not doing good. We only got one. But I thank and praise God he gave me this one so I can do something. Amen? Amen. Okay, today I would like for you to uh, turn to Matthew, the fourth chapter. And I would like to read uh, four verses there. And then I would like to read one verse coming out of Jeremiah. And that's where I get my subject from. Amen. amen. If you have it, amen. Nothing new. You know, the Bible said there's nothing new up under the sun. There might be something new with us, but not with God. Amen. And the Bible reads, then Jesus was led by the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. After fasting 40, 40, nights, 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. And a temperer came and said to him, If you, be, you are the son of God, command these stones to be turned to bread. But the, he answered, it, it is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that cometh from the mouth of God. I would like to read Jeremiah the 29 and 11, it says, I know the thoughts of the, I know the thoughts that I think of you, towards you, peace and evil, peace and not evil, to give you an expected end. And I would like to just say a three-word prayer today, Lord, help us. And my subject today is, don't let the devil steal your purpose because of your expectation in. We find that in the book of Jeremiah, it talks about a purpose and a destiny. And God talks about speaking good towards us and not evil. Because he's telling us that he got an expected end for us. And that expected end is good. But we cannot let the devil steal it. I want to go to heaven. But I know that God called us all for a purpose. And when we look at the scripture today. Uh, because I want to get straight to the point today. Uh, because the Bible said uh, that Jesus, uh, he was led by the Spirit of God uh, into the wilderness. Uh, you see, when the children of Israel came out of Egypt, uh, God took them in the wilderness. Uh, why? Because you're going to have to have a wilderness experience. Uh, you're going to have to be able to to spend some time with God. Huh? I'm telling you right now, we have a purpose, huh? and we have a destiny, huh? and we have an expected end, huh? and we cannot let huh, the devil huh, steal our expected end. Huh? And I'm telling you now, being led by the Spirit, 
spirit, huh? the Bible said, huh? those that are led by the spirit, huh? for they are the sons of God, huh? and you don't have to go. Huh? I don't know where your experience is going to be, huh? your wilderness is going to be, huh? but you're going to have to spend some time with God. Huh? The Bible said huh? that he fasted 40 days huh? and 40 nights. Huh? You see, when you don't eat huh? and feed this body, huh? your mind is directly huh? on God. Huh? You're thinking about something hungry, huh? but when you fast and pray to God, huh? you're thinking about God, huh? and God giving you understanding. Huh? He's giving you revelation. Huh? He's giving you the way huh? how to deal huh? with your expected end. Huh? I don't want to end up huh? going to hell, huh? doing all these things, huh? so I'm going to spend some time huh? with God. Huh? You need to spend time huh? with God huh? in your house. Huh? You need to spend time huh? with God huh? in your car. Huh? You need to spend time huh? with God sometimes, huh? even on your job. Huh? You need to fast and pray. Huh? You see, some people huh? don't want to give up nothing, huh? but when you give up stuff, huh? that's when God gives you revelation huh? and clarification. Huh? But I'm telling you, huh? don't let the devil huh? steal your destination huh? for your expected end. Huh? My expected end huh? is to be with Jesus, huh? is to talk to Jesus, huh? get that everlasting joy, huh? that everlasting peace. Huh? I'm talking about the devil. Huh? He attempted huh? Adam and Eve. Huh? He still had the same huh? tactics huh? coming around, huh? tempting you. Huh? If he tempt God, huh? you know that he's going to tempt you. Huh? And I'm telling you now, huh? I'm going to be ready for the devil. Huh? You got to have huh? the word of God huh? in your heart. Huh? You got to have huh? the word of God huh? down in your mind, huh? even in Bible class. Huh? Friday, huh? somebody said, huh? be ready to answer every man. Huh? The hope that you have in you huh? concerning our Lord Jesus Christ. Huh? You can't tell nobody huh? about God huh? if you don't know nothing huh? about God. Huh? You can't tell nobody huh? that they need to get baptized huh? in the name of Jesus huh? if you don't spend no time huh? with God. Huh? I'm so glad I spent time huh? with God. Huh? One time I said, huh? where is your value there? Huh? But I'm telling you, huh? if you don't spend time huh? with God, huh? the devil is going to get you. Huh? And then the Bible said, huh? he was led by the Spirit huh? in the wilderness. Huh? But pray, I mean fasting huh? 40 days huh? and 40 nights huh? and he was hungry. Huh? One thing about the devil, huh? he always going to come around huh? when you're when you're weak, I'm telling you, he knew there wasn't no sin in changing that bread, taking that stone in the bread. It was the principle behind it. Jesus didn't come here to prove nothing to the devil. He came in his life. His purpose was to die for the world, not to die and show the devil nothing. We can't get a devil no kind of time. We got to always keep our mind on on our purpose huh, and our destiny huh, with God. Huh. God could have turned the devil huh, into stone. Huh. He could have turned them huh, into bread huh, if he wanted to. Oh, huh. power huh, in heaven and earth huh, is in the name of Jesus. Huh. But we cannot huh, get a devil no room huh, for nothing. Huh. I'm telling you, huh, well, preacher, huh, how do you get a devil room? Huh? I'm going to stop huh, and pause for that verse a little bit. Huh. You give him room. Huh, when you're jealous of people, huh? you give them room. Huh? When you're arguing with people, huh? you give them room. Huh? When you're stealing on your job, huh? you give them room. Huh? We shouldn't give the devil huh? no time for nothing. Huh? We should always huh? don't let the sun go down huh? on your raft. Huh? Why? Because huh? when you're mad, huh? you're giving the devil huh? room. Huh? But I'm telling you now, huh? I'm not going to miss huh? my expected end. Huh? Messing with the devil. Huh? The devil will steal. Huh? Your respected end, huh? but I'm going to give God the praise. Huh? I'm going to spend time with him. Huh? And I know that my thought huh, is not good enough huh, for God. But that's why huh, I'm glad that God, huh, he think good for all us. Huh? He want us huh, to think good huh, about him. Huh? He called all of us huh, for a purpose. Huh? I don't care what it is. Huh? God called us all huh, for a purpose. Huh? But sometimes. 
sometimes uh, people don't want to do the purpose uh, and that's how the devil gets you. Uh, why do you think uh, this church is not filled up? Uh, I know COVID is out here, uh, but people today, uh, they giving God, uh, they giving the devil uh, more time uh, than they giving God. Uh, but I'm going to give God my praise uh, and the glory uh, because I don't want to miss uh, my expected end uh, with the God. Uh, why? Because uh, it's good. Uh, I'm talking about everlasting joy. Uh, I'm talking about everlasting peace. Uh, I'm talking about everlasting Holy Ghost uh, that I will always praise God. Uh, and then the Bible says, uh, the Bible says uh, he fasted uh, 40 days uh, and 40 nights uh, and he was hungry uh, because the devil, uh, he's looking for the weak ones. Uh, I believe, I look at wild kingdom uh, and always them lions, uh, they always go for the baby. Uh, they go for the weaker vessels. Uh, you see, that's the way the devil is. Uh, he always go uh, for the weaker vessels. Uh, but I'm telling you, uh, you got to stay strong uh, in order uh, even to keep your kids. Uh, you can praise God uh, when you're in the wilderness uh, with God. Uh, I don't know. Uh, a wilderness could be anywhere. Uh, just you and God. Uh, praising God. Uh, you and God fasting. Uh, people today, uh, they don't want to fast for God. Uh, everybody know uh, is overweight. Uh, even me, myself. Uh, I'm a couple pounds over myself. Uh, but I'm telling you, uh, we need to take our plates uh, and put them down uh, for God. Uh, if you want some understanding uh, and if you want uh, to be able to beat the devil, uh, you've got to give God uh, some time. Uh, you just can't come uh, to church on Sunday uh, and expect uh, God to give you everything. Uh, you got to read that Bible uh, for yourself. Uh, you got to know uh, the Bible say uh, that the devil, uh, he only come to kill, uh, steal, and destroy. Uh, he will steal our joy. Uh, he will steal our children. Uh, he will steal our peace. Uh, he will steal our deliverance. Uh, he will steal our healing. Uh, we got to spend time uh, with God uh, so that we can keep all of it. Hallelujah. The devil, he's a bad moon gate. I'm telling you now, and we got to be able to fight the devil. We got to fight it with all our might. Sometimes we don't know what to do. That's why you go to God. That's why the Bible says, lean not to your own understanding. We got to fight the word. We got to fight the devil with the word. And after I'm done, you will find out because Jesus said it is written. He said, turn uh, these stones uh, into bread. Uh, but what did Jesus say? Uh, it is written. Uh, you got to know uh, what's written uh, in the Bible uh, in order to beat the devil. Uh, he said, man uh, should not live uh, by bread alone, uh, but by every word uh, that proceeds uh, out of the mouth of God. Uh, that means the word of God. Uh, I don't live so much uh, about man, uh, but I live uh, because I'm trying to see uh, my expected end uh, with God, an everlasting purpose, an everlasting king, glorious, powerful, wisdom and top and above all things. People today, they just want to be blessed, but being blessed can't get you to heaven. You got to know the word of God. You got to spend time with God. You got to know how to tell somebody about God. It's not about no car. They had a survey on TV and they say all churches is doing huh, is teaching huh, about prosperity. Huh. I'm not no prosperity huh, preacher. Huh. If God don't add it, huh, I just won't get it. Huh. But I'm looking for Jesus. Huh. Jesus, huh. if you got Jesus, huh, you got everything. Huh. I'm talking about the power huh, of the Holy Ghost. Huh. I'm talking about the power huh, that can take you to heaven. Huh. I'm talking about the power huh, of God. Huh. God been good huh, to us. Huh. He's been good to our children. He been good. He give us jobs. And then some people don't want to pay their tithes. I don't understand why people don't want to give back to God. Even in the beginning, Cain and Abel, they offered a sacrifice. It wasn't no tithes. God don't need nothing we got. But he want us to show him that we will give something back to him. And I'm telling you, we got to give him our best. Uh, don't let the devil uh, steal uh, your destination. Uh, don't let the devil uh, steal your purpose. Uh, we got it inspected in. Thank you. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. And he said that it was written. We got to know what is written down in the Bible. I don't understand. Sometimes, saints of God, you just don't come to Bible study, but you got to read the word of God for yourself. Sister Kelly, you know that she reads the Bible because when she come in on Bible study, first lady, she reads the Bible. You see how people come in on Bible study, but then this goes that read then don't understand we don't know everything but one thing we got to realize that the devil will take the word of God and try to reverse, reverse it and use it against us just because you know the word of God don't mean that you got understanding about God because you got to spend time with God you got to go into the wilderness and get some time with God you got to study that Bible. You got to pray. You got to fast in order to get the word of God. And I'm telling you now, people today, it's just prosperity. But prosperity is not going to get you into heaven. Only the word of God. Peter said, man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. And this is the word right here. This is what we live by. This is what keep me. He said, seek ye the first of the kingdom of heaven and all these other things will be added unto you. Don't worry about no food. Don't worry about the job. God has added to you. If you live right, if you live by his word, God said he will never leave you or forsake you. I'm telling you, if you lose your job, God will give you another one. But I'm telling you, if you get sick, He'll heal you. I live by the word of God. I'm tired. I don't care what the doctor say. It's up to the word of God. If you spend time with God, but don't nobody today want to spend no time with God. They don't want to have no wilderness experience. They don't want to put their plate down. Did not you know when you put your plate down and give it unto God, God going to bless you mightily. You're going to know. And not only that, he's going to anoint you. He's going to anoint you for what he have you to do. Don't you know we got an expected end. And either that end is going to hell or going to heaven. I want it to be good. And I want to go to heaven with God. This world is sad. The president, look at the president. That man, I seen him dancing on TV. A thousand and people dying uh, every day. Uh, how could you be dancing uh, on TV uh, and a thousand people uh, is dying every day uh, of COVID? Uh, I don't know. Uh, and one thing else uh, about the man, uh, every time you catch him in something, uh, he tells a lie. Uh, I'm telling you, uh, we need some help uh, down here. Uh, that's why the Bible says uh, that we need to live uh, by the word of God. Uh, I don't live by you. Uh, I don't live by the government but I live by the word of God The word of God is good, saints. Everything you need, I preach one time, is in the word of God. Because God, he's going to take care of his people. I don't care. You ain't got to have no big house. You ain't got to have a lot of things. You see, this is what the devil is doing to Jesus. He's showing him things. He's showing him possessions. I'm telling you, and showing him power. We don't need that kind of power. We need the power of the Holy goes. Huh? Something that will keep us. Huh? Something that will lead and guide us. Huh? Something that God huh? will lead and guide us huh? to our expected end. Hallelujah. I got an expected end. And I want my end to be good with God. I don't want all this prosperity teaching. They say these mega churches is preaching prosperity. I don't see nothing wrong with people sowing money. But you got to preach about heaven and hell. You got to preach about being baptized. In the name of Jesus, you got to preach that. But people is not even concerned about the word of God. They'd rather be rich and go to hell than to be baptized. 
tithe, be poor and go to heaven. I'd rather be poor and go to heaven and be rich and go to hell. Why? Because I know one thing. I'm trying to please God. I don't want the devil to steal my destiny. I don't want the devil to steal my purpose. Everybody in here under the sound of my voice have a purpose. You got to find out your purpose. You see, I know I'm a preacher. You ain't got to tell me I'm a preacher. The doctor know he a doctor. If you a preacher, you should know that you a preacher. If you a teacher, you should know that you a teacher. You don't nobody have to tell me nothing. I don't need no confidence for nothing. Why? Because God has given me confidence to know who I am. You need to know who you are in God. You need to know it and speak it with authority. Hallelujah. God's been good to us saints. And not only to us. He's been good to our families. I thank God. I know some of my children should have been dead. Even myself. Sleeping in my grave. But look at God. God is so good. And I just keep bragging about it. Over and over again. I thought. I don't care if y'all get tired of me saying that. But I'm going to keep saying that. I thought I was going to die at the age of 25. And here in three months, I'll be 66. I don't feel like I'm 66. Don't tell me God won't keep you. God will keep you. Even in your old age, I'm telling you, I feel like I'm about 50. But God, he's a good God. He's a merciful God. And if you do right, he'll do right to you. You see, I don't live by man. I live by the word of God. Hallelujah. Because we got it expected in. And we got to teach the truth. That's why I'm glad that I go to a church that teaches the truth. I'm glad we got a pastor, Pastor Long. He teaches the word of truth. I'm telling you, ain't too many pastors is teaching. They saying you okay. Don't worry about it. You see, I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say no. You need to get right with God before it's everlasting too late. Before you miss your expected end. I'm talking about I want the thought to be good when I see Jesus I want him to say well done my good and faithful servant I don't want him to say depart from me I never knew you I want God to think good of me I don't understand why people think that they could take these things with them I was me and my wife, we were going to get another house, but I don't want nothing now, really. I just want some peace, but I'm telling you, some things you cannot take with you anyway. I tell y'all now, and I told y'all before, the high rise is not out for me, because once I read a certain age, I'm going to forget about that house. i probably give them to my children or something, because I'm not going to let these things worry me to death, and I'm not, I'm not jealous of nobody. I'm not mad at nobody. I don't talk about nobody. Why? Because I'm trying to reach my expected end with God, thinking about me good. And then I don't understand a generation that think they know more than the pastor. If you knew more than the pastor, you should have been the pastor. But God did not call you. He called the pastor. And one thing about me, I'm going to get a pastor. Double honor, just like the Bible say. I get one cupcake, he get two. I'm going to make it plain. So y'all say, oh, God, I didn't understand what he said. I didn't understand what Elder Carter said that day. <laughs> now you understand. But God is good to us, saints. Uh, we know. Uh, and then here comes the devil uh, in verse 5. Uh, then the devil took him. Uh, in the holy city uh, and set him uh, on the pencil, on the top of a pencil of the temple uh, and said uh, to him, if you are the son of God, uh, 
throw yourself down. <laughs> <laughs> but look what the devil said. The devil said, it is written. Sometimes we got to understand that the devil know the Bible too. And he know it better than some of us. Because some of us, I hate to say it, only read the Bible when the preacher read it on Sunday. But you need to read that Bible every day. You need to try to get something out of the word of God. You got to love God. You see, I love what I do. So I try try to be in the Bible uh, every day. Uh, I try to be down on my knees uh, every day. Uh, why, why? Not just because uh, God's been good to me, uh, but I want to reach uh, my expected end. Uh, I want to go to heaven. Uh, that's the main thing uh, on this earth uh, is don't get left uh, back here. Uh, if anybody needs uh, to get baptized, uh, don't wait till tomorrow. Uh, get baptized today. Uh, tomorrow uh, is not promised to us. Uh, you see, you don't here. Keep preachers preaching this stuff on Sunday. All they want is your money. But ain't nothing wrong in giving money. But I'm telling you ain't nothing more important than your soul. I tell people in a minute and I just told them when it's time to go to heaven. I'm the most important person in my house. I don't care if all my family over there. I want to be right with God. Because I told them, I told my children, I raised them up in the gospel. They know about the gospel. They gave Elder Ramsey a home going last Sunday. All them kids came back. All of them grown. They got kids. They were singing in the choir. It looked like the old apostolic faith. But none of them want to live right. I don't, well, they do what they want. They grown. But it ain't like we didn't teach them. The word of God is in them. And I'm believing before I die, one day, all of them is going to come back to the church. Because they know uh, what we taught them. Uh, they know what we planted. Uh, that seed in them. Uh, not only my children, uh, but all of them. Uh, they doing their thing. Uh, but God going to get them. Uh, why? Because I'm still praying. Uh, somebody needs to pray uh, for the children. Uh, not just for our children, uh, but the ones that's out there uh, killing up one another. Uh, we need to pray for their parents. Uh, I'm telling you, uh, I've never seen a world like this before uh, in my life. Uh, that president uh, is is dancing and all these people is mourning. I'm telling you, that's a shame and a crime when you do something like that. The man had COVID, take his mask off, say he's cured, but he don't live by the word of God. I'm so glad that I live by the word of God because if I die with COVID, I still have eternal life if I live right. I'm telling you, that's why we serve God by the word of God. And don't ever let nobody uh, come up and use the word on you uh, and try to make it switch around. Oh, you ain't got to be baptized in Jesus' name. You ain't got to be filled with the Holy Ghost. And then they'll, they'll quote a scripture too. And then you'll say, what? I didn't know that. So you, you, you cannot let nobody fool you. That's why it's good to get into the Bible yourself. Nobody better not come up to me with that. Talking about it is written. We cannot tempt God. You cannot go out there and say, I'm going to jump over the bridge and God going to save me. What got to happen is you got to slip off the bridge by accident. Oh, I hope I got that plane. I don't want y'all to be saying, Elder Carter didn't tell me right, Lord. I want it plain. But you we can't be tempting God. We got to do it the way the Bible says. And if you study, and if you go into the wilderness with God, God will give you the understanding. Somebody said, well, Elder Carter, I'm going to commit suicide. I said, don't do that because there's no forgiveness. And she said, she said wonder if I say, it. I'm sorry before I do it. No, you got to say you're sorry after you do it. So I'm telling you, don't do it. Don't do it because there's no forgiveness. Somebody that 
commit suicide, believe me, they going to hell. Why? Because I don't care who would challenge me on that. We could go in the Bible and talk about it. Because how is God going to forgive something that you didn't ask him for after you commit suicide? You didn't ask God. But you're gone. You're dead. It's over. You can't ask God before forgiveness before you do something. If that's the case, everybody could go out here today and do some adultery and say, Lord, forgive me. And I'm going to have me some fun. But you cannot do that. You got to wait till it's over and then ask God for forgiveness. Hallelujah. But we want, we want, we want to do it right now. We can't ask God for forgiveness before we did a thing. And then I'm going to tell y'all another thing too. I know y'all ain't going to like me for this. Okay, we commit adultery and say it's a mistake. That wasn't no mistake. Both of y'all agreed. Okay, we'll do it. Oh, Lord. Hope nobody got no stones. Don't stone me up in here. That ain't no mistake. And then you go back to your woman. Babe, I made a mistake. No, you didn't. You agreed to do that. Or you took it. Shut up, preacher. Be quiet, preacher. They ain't going to let you come back. But people need to be told the truth about what's going on. That mistake stuff. They should take that out the dictionary. I know people say that. I probably said it a couple times myself. But I know it wasn't a mistake. I meant to do it. <laughs> Back in the day, you had, that wasn't no mistake. And y'all know it wasn't none either. But we got to live, saints. Huh? I'm getting ready to come in. Huh? But we got to live by the word of God. Huh? If we're going to have that expected in, huh? we got to live huh? according to God's righteousness, huh? according to God's holiness. Huh? Don't worry about these things. Huh? Worry about trying to get your soul right huh? with God. Huh? That's the most important thing huh? is to get your soul right. Huh? You might not have huh? a big house, huh? but that's all right. Huh? Your soul is all right. Huh? You might not have huh? a big car, but your soul is right. That's the most important thing there is. And if you give God time enough, he'll give you all them things. He said that he would add them to you. But we so worry about these things. We're going to miss our expected end with God. Lord, please help me to look to you at all times. Whether I'm poor, whether I'm rich, I want to look to God. Why? Because I know that God is it's the most important thing huh, in my life huh, is this word huh, of God huh, because I live by it, huh, I walk by it, huh, I talk by it, huh, I do everything huh, by the word of God. Huh. I'm telling you, huh, we got to know huh, what to do. Huh. Don't be talking about, huh, I don't know what to do. Huh. All this word huh, that be taught at this church, huh, everybody huh, should know what to do. Huh. You need to get on Bible study huh, on Friday night huh, and learn about God. We always got to have. Me and the first lady was talking about that this morning. I don't care who you are. And that includes Elder Carter too. We all got to have a teachable spirit. Don't never think you know too much. You don't know nothing when it comes to God. We don't know about God. We don't know everything about God. Not nobody, but God himself. And when he come back forth, I'm telling you, we don't know the time, the day, and the hour. I'm so glad on Bible study. I'm sending this book on Bible study. They said, I don't believe there ain't nobody in heaven. And I found the verse. He said, ain't nobody up in heaven but him that descended, that ascended back up into heaven. I got word. And I told the lady, I said, tell you whoever you're talking to to explain that to you and ask them, is anybody in heaven. One thing I know when I talk about the word of God, I mention only the word of God. I'm not going to try to mess nothing up. I'm telling you, sometimes people go to other sources and then want to get in our Bible class 
and start saying what another man said. I don't want to hear that. I want to hear what God said, what God passed along said. I don't care what y'all talking about. I want to be wherever God said. That was a good answer. I'm going to remember that all my life. So I'm saying stay in the computer. So I'm saying I can't answer you like that. Wherever God is, that's where I want to be. And people talking about that presence of the Lord. We could be in, I'm in the presence of the Lord up here. That feet on the cross. He's in paradise. That means a home place, a garden. He didn't go to heaven. Paradise sound like heaven, but study it deep. Spend some time with God. He'll give you the revelation. Paradise do sound like heaven. But it's a holding place. And tell me this too. How is the dead in Christ going to be the first to rise? Come on, Vicky. He can help me preach. <laughs> You, you write all the chords. He said, well, two or three gathered it today. Because that's right. How are they in heaven? And they're going to meet the Lord first. And we shall be caught up to meet, the Bible says, them. So you got to watch the little words in the Bible, too. So the dead going to be with Christ already. And then we going to be caught up to meet them in the air. You're going to have to have a changed body. Because I wouldn't jump out one of them airplanes right now. Because I'm going to have to do something. And we don't know the time, the day, the minute. The Bible say the angels in heaven don't even know. So it, it, it gets us to get ready. I don't be trying to hurt nobody. When people say... Oh, oh, Lord, if the Lord was to come seriously tomorrow at 12 o'clock, you would get so many phone calls. I'm sorry, such and such. Why can't you do it today? Amen. Why can't you call him up today and say, I'm sorry? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Because we don't know that he might just come back for you. He might not come back for all of us. And I try to make it just as plain so nobody won't say, well, Lord Elder Carter said no. I, I let them know. I said it real nice and plain. I don't use big words anyway because <laughs> I might not even know what they mean. <laughs> but I know what this word means because if you do and stick with God, God will give you revelation. God will give you revelation. I knew people that couldn't read, but they could read the Bible. Amen. Now, what's up with that? God, that's God. God will do what he want to do and how he want to do it, but he just wants you to live right. And those that need to be baptized need to think about it hard. Because the Bible says, except the man be born of the water and the spirit, he will no wise even see the kingdom of God. Amen. I remember my grandmother took me to church. I was still out there in the world. I was still a little high from last night. See, you tell the truth because somebody might need to hear this. And she said, son, go to church with me. I went to church with my grandma, and the preacher called altar call to get baptized. And my grandmother used to get up out of the aisle. She was the only one that Pastor Ramsey seemed like didn't say nothing. And anyone y'all? She said, "Son, you need to get baptized." I got baptized because I loved my grandma. I didn't get baptized because I was ready for repentance. But look what God did. I don't care how He rolled you in. Grandma never seen me get saved. Jeff, come on, sister. She preaching this sermon. But I like that. But it all depends on how God gets you. And don't be worried about other people. People sometimes don't want to get baptized. You're going to be embarrassed. You're going to be more embarrassed in standing in front of God, giving an account for your life 
what he told you to do. But I'm so glad my grandma got me baptized in the name of Jesus. And God filled me with the power of the Holy Ghost. And now I'm living a saved and holy life. And I believe that every denomination going to be up in heaven. Well, preacher, break it down. Because God do the calling. Whoever gets saved, God do. I believe he's going to call some Muslim. I believe he's going to call some Baptist. I believe he's going to call every denomination it is to him. You don't do the calling. Read your Bible. That's why I spend my time in the wilderness. I don't go by that denominational stuff. I know they wrong, they wrong. Who knows? Tomorrow God might call them and give them the truth. Because I have preached some people out of different denominations. What about that? You don't know who God's going to call. And can't nobody go to God unless he draw them anyway. So who is you to be saying who's going and who's not? Oh, sit down, Elder Carter, sit down. And I'm getting ready to sit down, too. But I spend time with God. I be in the world to witness God. Especially since my wife passed away, I study the word of God. I stay on my knees. I just don't pray on Wednesday. I pray every day. I try to give God some of my time every day. I try to pray before even I study. I pray after I study. Sometimes for half an hour, sometimes for an hour. Because you know why? I want to reach my expected end with God thinking about me good. God bless you. Peace be upon you. And God be with you. <laughs>